What is going on guys, it is Joel here and welcome to a 600k squad builder. This is a hybrid squad, it's an absolute beast squad. If you have the money, I would fully recommend you guys go check it out or make it and build it for yourselves. It's a 4-3-3 bracket 4 formation squad and it's just absolutely out of this world. So in net we have Joe Hart. Now this guy is just a tank, 85 diving, 87 reflexes, 6 foot 5. He is about 15k coins, I did get him in a pack though which was very fortunate. And he's just an absolute tank. His handling isn't the greatest, but still, his diving, his reflexes, his positioning, he's just insane. He's massive, so he comes out and collects every single corner, and I really do enjoy using him. Next, at right back, you're probably thinking, what? Why are you using this guy? And uh, Now, I'm using this guy just for chemistry reasons, although he wasn't actually that bad. 83 pace and 78 dribbling, 75 defending. His name is Caravajal. He plays for Real Madrid, and he's only there for chemistry. However... That is why we are using Sergio Ramos. We need Caravajal, who gets the perfect, perfect link up with um, Sergio Ramos, who is a tank, 80 pace, 84 defending, and 86 heading. Freestyle skills, freestyle weak foot, high attacking work rate, which can be annoying. But still, I found him to be an absolute beast in the this game, and he just wins the ball back all the time. Next, in the set other centre-back position, we have Company. This guy is my favourite centre-back I've used overall absolutely by a mile. I played 35 games with him. He's 6 foot 4, 73 pace, 86 defending, 80 heading. He's just an absolute tank. Seriously, this guy, you have to go get him. He's only 50k, which I thought he'd be a lot more than that. He's just awesome. I got him in a pack, luckily, but seriously, guys, he is the best defender in the game for me. Next at left back, we have Ashley Cole, a very solid defender indeed. He's good at attacking, he's good at defending, his passing is excellent. He's just a really good all-round player and he's so reliable. 13,500 coins he cost me and he's a really good 85 rated player at the left back position. The first centre mid, we have Andres Iniesta. Oh my god, this guy. I have done a review on him. There will be an annotation on the screen taking you to that review. Make sure you click that if you want to see um, the review on him. It will t open in another tab, so don't worry about deleting anything on here. But make sure you go watch that because it tells you in depth about how good he is. And he is insane. As you can see, he got four assists and two goals in six games. Four star skills, four star weak foot, 91 dribbling, 91 passing. 90,000 coins he cost me, but that cost is absolutely worth it. He's so good. His passing is brilliant. His dribbling is so, so nice. He beats players. He sets up goals. And he's just absolutely insane. Now into the centre attacking mid, we have David Silva. Now this guy, he was a bit meh. He was okay. He wasn't absolutely outstanding. However, I was hoping for a little bit more. But, you know, still 89 dribbling, 86 passing. He sort of did the job. His two-star weak foot was incredibly annoying. The only way he could shoot is on his left foot, so that was sort of annoying, and he was very, very costly at 97,000 coins. Maybe good for Sani Cazorla um, if you're actually going to go for this team, or Juan Mata. They probably are better options, but still, David Silva, a very good player, and he's high rated as well. Next into the other centre mid is Yaya Torre. This guy, oh my god, what a tank. 77 pace, 79 dribbling, 74 shooting, 83 defending, 84 heading, 80 passing. He has no weakness whatsoever. I feel his shooting should be a lot better considering in real life he absolutely bangs him in. 100,000 coins he cost me, he's 6 foot 2. So very pricey but he was well worth it. He scored 3 goals and he did get 1 assist. He was just a tank. He picked the ball up in the midfield, always tackling the attackers and then set the play going again. Now onto our right wing, you've probably guessed who it is, Jesus Navas. Plays for Man City now, recently transferred from Sevilla. This guy is one of the standout players on the team. Four-star skills, only three-star weak foot. He's right-footed, which is a little bit annoying, which means you can't cut inside so much. But his pace is absolutely outstanding. His skills are just beautiful. His dribbling is very, very nice, and his crossing is superb. He is great for getting those crosses in real fast, and he just makes perfect runs, I find. Him and Iniesta link up so, so well. He makes perfect runs in down the middle, but darting through and, you know, just he's just so, so good. I love him. His high attacking work rate may be a contributing factor to that. Next striker, we have Eto Samuel Eto. He is so, so good. He scored six goals. No, he scored four goals in six games for me, which I thought would be a little higher. When I had him before, he scored something like 12 in six. So he hasn't done too well for me at the moment. But he is a very, very good striker. Four star skills, 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 81 shooting. His heading is a little bit lower than I would like it to be. Otherwise, that would make him just the complete striker. But I do absolutely love Eto. He is just outstanding out of this world. And I do... 
it's just a pleasure to use him. I would fully recommend you guys check him out. If you can't buy this whole team, then definitely get Eto. Finally, the best, well, not the best, but one of the best players in the whole team, and that's Willian. I've done a review on him also, so an annotation will be on the screen to that. Make sure you check that out, because it shows some amazing goals with him. And I just talk about how good he is, and he really is amazing. As you see, he played 26 and only scored 8, but he's got 11 assists. His ball control is out of this world. His pace is very good. He makes all the right runs. He beats a player with ease. He's just he's just a fool. The, everything you need for a left winger, he's outstanding. 41,000 coins he cost me. I think he's around like 60k now, so he has risen in price dramatically. But he is well worth it, guys. Absolutely amazing player. One of my favourite in the game so far. In, in fact, pretty much everyone in this team is awesome. I really do enjoy this entire team. And... I'd fully recommend you guys get it. I haven't lost with this team. All six games I played, I actually won, including the wager match. Oh, the pink slips that you would have seen earlier. I actually won that as well. So you would have seen this team in action. It is honestly insane. So make sure you guys go check it out. Use it. Um, I'm going to leave some goals at the end. If you did enjoy this squad builder, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I've been um, JMX. I never say that. Why did I just say that? God. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the goals.